What's going on guys? Back in the Japan Import Tackle booth with my buddy Minu Nori. We're going to talk about some Amakatsu stuff today. Yes. And the first one you pulled out here is this teeny tiny little guy. Uh, a little tiny wake. What is the name of this bait? This is Baby Kira Wake. Baby Kira Wake. All right, and what? A, uh, give me the kind of the rundown of this bait, kind of the features of this, uh, you know, uh, kind of the, the specs and what's good for all that stuff. Okay, so it has a 70 mil, which is a little shy of three US inches and weight 3.9 grams. It's about one eighth ounce. It's the floating, it's a wake bait. It, I mean, it's a tiny wake bait. It's yes. got a little, uh, a little circuit board bill on there. Yes. And then uh, you see point we got a little blade on the bottom. Correct. So it is just ultra, ultra finesse wake bait. Yes, it is a super finesse bait. Uh, if you are Imakats fans, there's mm -hmm. a very popular bait. It's called Bebekira Bidu Mino. Uh -huh. It has the same profile. Uh -huh. And one of the uh, Imakats pro staff, Mr. Mihara, fine-tuned it, made a shoulder lip, you know, add a braid and everything. Uh -huh. He's a, one of the top uh, Japanese best pro in, in the JB Top 50 League. And then, you know, that. Tinker's Attack on Designs Lures. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, it is a, a fine, fine-tuned, uh, finesse wake bait. Mm -hmm. But when you go a little bit faster, yeah. you can actually go down to like 5, 10 inches. So, so you're going to get a little subsurface if you crank it down. Correct. And go slow, you can fish the surface, go fast, you can go down. And super finesse, so you're throwing this on spinning tackle, I mean, it's yes. got small hooks on it, or yeah. you know, maybe if you had some BFS gear, you can get away with the BFS stuff on it. Yes, you can get by with the BFS. Oh, or a spinning setup, so I mean, if you guys have seen a super, super small finesse wake bait, I mean, this is a tiny little bait, gonna be a little snack for any bass out there. Correct. I'm sure you get them yeah. all the time at the little ponds and stuff like that, when yeah. you need a small profile bait. Also, the high you know, pro pressure the tournament conditions. High pressure for sure, especially yeah. down there in Southern California, in our neck of the woods. There's always a million guys out there fishing, and it's, it's, you, sometimes you need those small baits to even trigger, uh, trigger a bass. So um, th these are available up for pre-order on TW.com. Uh, and we got some more stuff from Amakatsu coming up next, some bigger baits. Yes. And up next, like I said, a bigger bait, a much larger bait. Uh, we got a new size of, of the Lazy Swimmer. So what is Correct. the new size option we got? So the original size was six inches. This new one is nine inches. It's much bigger. This is a large caliber swim bait. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, tell us, give us kind of some of the features of the Lazy Swimmer, why it's such a good bait. So Lazy Swimmer, they call it lazy, right? Uh -huh. I mean, super, super dead slow. And, and you don't need Basically, no motion. Tail is designed to move. So, I mean, this is for super, super slow reeling. Correct. So, I mean, just, uh, so how, how, what's the secret in, on this one? Like, how slow do you reel it? About how deep does it run? Okay, so this bait is designed to float. Designed and, to float. And so, on, on the surface, mm -hmm. you're basically just reading like this. Yeah. And on the surface, the data moves like this. It's gotta be painful to fish it that slow, but you know that, it's effective. That is correct. Yeah. So the best way to fish it is you make a long cast mm -hmm. and go really slow yeah. and don't let the bass see you. Yeah, that's you know? always the number one problem. Correct. So that, that's the number one. You can also uh, be able to fish this on the side fishing. You see fish, cast it, because it, it, it's a soft body. Mm -hmm. You can make a quick turn, let them to strike. Uh, and because this is a floating bait, you can do multiple things. There's a second hanger. Yeah, so you, you can add more trebles to it, more correct. stinger hooks. It comes with a big harness already in there that you can rig yeah. up and leave it on there, and that's a monster treble hook. Probably yeah. better for when you're just winding the bait, if yeah. you want to have that big stinger on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to suspend this bait, uh -huh. add one out hook on the back, uh -huh. and put uh, three small nail weight, total uh -huh. like quarter ounce, okay. the bait will suspend. Okay, so that's so, good to know. You know, the little tools, tricks, uh, tricks of the trade. Yeah. You know, put about a quarter ounce weight of nail weights throughout the body. Mm -hmm. to get it to spin. You will probably want to disperse them evenly so you get it to, right. to sink perfectly horizontal. And it looks like you guys have already been testing that one, pulled yeah. it out, and it's already got the line, to, uh, you know, the yeah. line still stuck on there. So you know they're out there fishing it, and these mm -hmm. will catch them. Yeah. And the detailing on these baits, you know, second to none. Uh, you know, really cool colors, uh, the gills, the eyes, uh, tons of detail on this bait from top to bottom. Yeah. There are other secret uh, design in it. This one has the pre-drilled hole. Uh-huh. Like this section, this yes. section. So if you want to add 
more weight and the fish the, like the bottom, uh -huh. remove the treble. Yes. And you can add a assist hook here, side so make it like a oh, this. Oh, on the sides. So, you know, like a zappu. So, yeah, so if you hook. really want to drag it along the bottom, you can thread you can thread uh, some some line through the middle and then put uh, assist hooks through the middle of the bay. That's super cool. But it's got, you know, heavy duty hardware, uh, really, really nice looking bait. We're super pumped to get something like this. It's always nice to have uh, more options than the big soft baits out there. And like you said, you know, the, the things you can do since it floats, you know, you said bed fishing, roll it up over a fish's bed and you can leave it there and it's not gonna go anywhere. You right. know, just sit there and like that yeah. little bit of water movement, mm -hmm. it'll look just like a live fish. This is a super cool bait. Um, it's available right now. You can pre-order it at tacklewarehouse.com. Make sure you check it out and all the other baits from Mamakatsu.